Everest. What's happening in these last decades is more dangerous than before and is the snow on Everest melting? The snow line is higher than it was just a few years ago. Areas once coated in dense ice are now exposed. Climbers are trading ice axes for rock pitons. In 2016, Nepal's army drained a lake near Everest after rapid glacier melting threatened to cause a catastrophic flood downstream. This year, a study found that the size of ponds on top of glaciers across the Everest region had greatly increased in the last three years. The forex cast looks grim. In a study on high altitude warming released, scientists warned that even if the world's most ambitious climate change targets are met, a field of Himalayan glaciers will melt by the end of the century. It's well known that temperature changes from greenhouse gases are amplified at higher latitudes such as in the Arctic. A landmark report on climate change found that if greenhouse gas emissions continued at the current rate, the atmosphere would warm by as much as 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit or 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels by 2040. Under the same scenario in the Himalayas, that figure could reach 3.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius. The merging bodies are part of a bigger change of the mountain. The last decade, climate change has quickly reshaped the whole Himalayan region. The Director General of Nepal's Department of Tourism Management said the emergence of bodies in the case of the region had already changed. After Sherpas reported finding uh, several bodies last year, office started looking for ways to safely remove them. For many climbers, the bodies are a jarring reminder of the mountain's perils. A European climber said that during his expedition he had passed some bodies including her friends. It's very, very intense when you meet them for the first time, when your headlamp catches them. Subscribe, share and see you next video. Bye bye.